like this and make sure to provide this minus lp cap option okay so that uh, the library is included and you don't get any runtime errors so if you don't include you get this error okay so minus lp cap it is compiled and then you can run it uh, just this way and i'm not sure this time it is picking this see this is the problem with this code it is picking this wired interface earlier when i ran it automatically picked up this interface and it has nothing to do with the command line options i thought i need to provide a command line option it is nothing to do that uh, because in the code we can see nowhere they are using this arc crv okay so they are taking the default interface so that's what is happening and uh, it has taken this interface so what i can uh, yeah what we can do is we can just cancel this and we can see these uh, packet captures so this is where the interesting thing is uh, because you can also do a raw packet uh, uh, dump and uh, you know things like that you want the raw packet bytes you can print and then uh, you know you can get access again uh, recommend go to this data structure and uh, see what is data structure has okay so the whole reference of the data structure somewhere if you can find uh, i can also suggest you some is go here and download the entire uh, lippy cap source code and then you can traverse that data structure see go here uh, let's say current development version latest releases if they have any live git uh, project and of course you can also get various examples various variants over here it's in the official uh, website okay guide to raw traffic etc etc so i recommend you to use that okay uh, architecture methodology if there is anything interesting we see yeah something like this architectural diagrams yeah that's what tcp dump blah 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 anyway let's see uh, one thing you can do is uh, current development versions and if any git release uh, site hosting lippy cap tcp dump this is tcp dump lippy cap is here so go here and uh, you can uh, check the data structure uh the main data structure pcap packet header and see what it contains and if you want raw bytes you can access you know the data structure and uh, you know we don't need to that <laughs> we don't need to do at the in this episode because there are also various samples like this and you can see in this sample uh, one guy is printing this uh, raw bytes so in this case uh, the callback function he is just printing this you know something like a count and stuff uh what is this count is one my callback plus something yeah i'm not sure maybe this is not packet bytes uh what is it trying to do here yeah this is the packet bytes so you can see yeah this is the packet bytes this is the raw packet bytes so what we can do is so this is the actual packet bytes which we can take <clears throat> and insert here see in this example the author is trying to uh, parse the packet and is printing various you know headers versus here we can take this example this is the packet header okay this is still correct packet header of length and then the packet it is actually which is this okay so that is what is the raw packet and uh, we are printing the raw bytes so instead of all these complications i can do a different print is uh, i can do a different thing that so print backslash and we do after this for loop and we just do a binary print okay print f uh, percentage 0 to x space and then you just keep providing this bytes packet of i and keep doing that and we quickly compile this and run this so hopefully we should able to get those packet bytes yeah so you can see here we are getting this raw packet bytes okay so that's what 
so that's why i'm saying feel free don't take uh, okay only one example and limit yourself just feel free try to explore so this is what you get and one option you can get is uh, you can also that's why he is doing this packet is the raw packet bytes so obviously it starts with it ethernet header or any l2 header hence in this he is assuming it is an ethernet header and hence he is doing this packet of directly is doing a typecast into this pointer and assigning it to this ethernet header which is this ep okay the pointer and then uh, you can see there he is printing that mac addresses over here and then he is doing that obviously you can also do the other approach is so the it starts with the destination mac so i can also do is a very raw you know print like this okay destination mac and then i can do packet of 0 and repeat this six times and repeat this this is 5 4 3 and same way here it is source mac and this is 6789101 and uh, we can also mention uh, the type also okay so this is type this is through two bytes okay this is two bytes so that is 11 this is 12 this is 13 remote is so essentially what you did is you are trying to uh, your yeah here backslash n backslash n backslash n so here we are debugging the raw packets and then next we are also trying to parse it of course this you can uh, if you have your own uh, data structure you can also do type casting or also you can do mem copy and stuff like that okay so let's just compile this as well and run this uh, what i do is i'll try to first uh, anyway since we got packets it's fine but we can also try to disable this wired port and then uh, stick to this wireless port which is actually is <laughs> no connected to direct internet anyway doesn't matter you can see there we can able to do this this is looking like a ipv4 packet so you have this 800 and this is the you know destination mac source mac and uh, same thing you can see the author also is printing with the other approach you know he is printing the source mac and then destination mac so it's a different order but hope you got an idea so this way we can do a very raw access and then we can get anything we want we can actually write our own parsers okay so anyway we go back to this author's approach so we get this ethernet header and then he is printing that and same way he is getting this ip header and he is printing uh, those you know details actually so even ip header we can actually do similar way if you see uh, since anyway we are filtering uh, tcp packets it's going to have an ip header uh, if not it is not going to have see here uh, the author is anyway doing this filter only tcp packets anyway it is going to have ip header so in this src ip so src ip i can say percentage d dot uh, percentage d dot percentage d dot percentage d uh, which is from the packet of 13 uh, the ip header uh, we can go and check uh, ip header and we see which byte it starts okay from that byte we can provide an offset so you can see there are eight bytes another eight bytes another eight bytes so eight threes are eight into three twenty four so it should start with the twenty fifth byte plus the fourteen bytes of ethernet header plus fourteen okay so more or less thirty eight so we give from thirty eight onwards if it is wrong maybe one byte here and there we can change it okay 39 40 okay 
43 something like that and we compare with this you know IP addresses so again we compile we run it yep so you got we got this so you can see source IP is 192 something and uh, this looks completely different so maybe the offset is uh, you know completely wrong we can also do one thing is uh, sudo vector and we capture few bytes and we can directly find that offset quite easily than this method okay so we say we refresh this page we get some packets so go to any tcp packet uh, i mean go to any packet you can see ethernet header and then ipv4 uh, this is 14 bytes and then ipv4 source address uh, it is over here so yeah, it is over here i'm sorry i have done a mistake ip header this is actually four bytes not eight bytes okay hence it's a wrong offset so four threes are 12 plus 14 so it's going to be somewhere like 26 so what we do is uh, we provide this number 26 so it should be around near that one so 26 27 uh yeah four bytes i'm sorry it should be just four okay we check this first two bytes if it is correct then i can change this last bytes as well so we go here we compile and we try here and you can see that i'm printing as 69 163 you can see there 69 163 so it's the correct offset so we just do is 28 29 so this is our source ip destination ip is right after that destination ip is 29 30 31 32 33 and also we can type this proto you know proto percentage d so protocol is here uh, which is here okay so the protocol is somewhat over here which is here so 14 this is 16 bytes 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 so it is like 24 or 23 something it comes we can try so this is the protocol tcp udp or icmp so we can, we can compile this and yeah you can see again protocol is you know correct since uh, you know these kind of offsets i do daily basis i just know it is just my intuition i just correctly get it so you can see that almost it is exactly matches so all are tcp packets and that's what he prints here and uh, you can see that and you understood like how to go about it in a way you can do a raw access like this or you can take help of this data structures and do in a proper way actually okay so you can see that what the author is trying to do is next getting this you know ip header in this way so from packet is trying to get because he is doing this offset here see he is doing this packet plus of this it's not a good method you can also do this uh, packet plus uh, the size of this instead of this method okay the right way to do is or better way to do is you can actually do this is put a bracket plus you can do actually size of this ethernet header it should be better than you know that approach so that offset you take type cast it to struct ip and then assign that you know to that pointer and then you can do this so hope you got an idea so this is how you use lippy cap library and the main focus is this callback where you can do things with the packets okay the approach you use lippy cap is how do you get the packets using this library you can get it in this way or you can get it via raw sockets uh, like i mentioned here in this example it's all about sending the packets it is not receiving it all you do is replace this uh, you know uh, write api with a read api and assign to a buffer then you get those packets <laughs> in that buffer so it is as same as you know leap pickup if you want maybe i can uh, take one uh, video episode on uh, this raw sockets packet sniffing as a part two of this you know series okay so you can uh, 
you know you can request if you want uh, in the youtube comments so i can consider sometime in the future so this is what it is similarly if you do in kernel uh, you don't need to do any of this you need to perhaps do a net filter hook and then directly access the skb the only problem is kernel is very cumbersome and if the skb is fragmented this kind of uh, tricks will not work anymore actually you should not do this kind of offsets okay it's it's just not recommended so hence i'm saying this way you can actually start your journey in terms of getting into core uh, network uh, software development and uh, you often need to do such things uh, as you do any network uh, you know uh, stack uh, you get this assign it to data structure and then you want to send packet from this you need to convert this uh, raw packets to a data structure so you do vice versa from the data structure to packets from the packets to the data structure and uh, you know things like that so hope you got this you know big picture i'm going to attach all these links and uh, even this various sample codes and uh, this uh, github you know references of this lipicap library spend lots of time if you are working into any production uh, type of code it's just not some uh, quick you know experiments of student code i'm saying even if you do some professional code then go through those data structures and see various options which can simplify your job because obviously i have done this way this way as you can see this is not full proof sometimes this may be not there sometimes if it is an arc, arc packet you may not have ip headers and stuff so hence you know take your time and you know do with all clauses then you will get a perfect you know packet sniffer the again the objective is not writing packet sniffers the objective is you can actually use this framework and you can incorporate writing any network stack in user space using lipicap or you know even the raw sockets as well or even you know turn tap interfaces okay so hope you find this video useful and insightful if you have any queries or if you are looking for the raw socket method you can uh, you know put forward your ideas and thoughts or queries in youtube comments thanks a lot for joining me stay tuned have a nice day bye bye